So my friend Carrie, she's in the Middle East right now. She is quarantining. It's been six days. She's been in her hotel room. She can't leave. That's crazy. So I reached out to a friend of mine that used to live in that city to just give us like a premise of like what it's like to live there. Just like a whole studio in here. <laughs> so I live, it's basically Doha. Yeah, your typical day, it depends on your job. Yeah, so you, it's it's very much uh, work oriented because your um, residence is tied to your employment. Right? Oh. So if you don't have a job, you can't live in Qatar. What, really? Mm -hmm. It's oh really? Horrific traffic because of the construction, because of the World Cup and stuff. All the roads, all the highways are basically being rebuilt from oh, scratch. Oh wow! My commute was like an hour at least. Like uh, context, it's a really small city. They're very strict with public intoxication. You can't drink anywhere public. You can't. You can drink. You can, but you have to go to a hotel. You have to go to a nightclub. Are nightclubs usually only in hotels? Yeah, or, uh... there isn't like a standalone club. It's inside a hotel. The idea is that they're trying to like shield the um, local culture from the Western influences. Right. So. Right. They're very conservative, their culture, like okay. in addition to it being Muslim. For example, women's rights and women's empowerment in Kuwait is way more advanced than in Qatar. And women, oh, for wow. example, in Kuwait can dress in tight jeans and tight top and walk in the mall and no one would really like, care. In Qatar, that would be like a scandal. They're building the World Cup stadium there? They're building eight stadiums. Wow. Yeah. Have you ever used the subway station? I didn't really get a chance to use it because it only opened right before I left. Top of the line, very fancy, um, and they have like classes, you know. Oh, features. they have classes? Yeah. The oh, first class, wow. second class, third class, or economy, no whatever. Way. Yeah. So the that. first class tickets are obviously more expensive. Dude, thank you for answering all these questions. No problem, man. Anytime. <laughs> Come on, Bear. I'm just gonna make my way home right away because I'm meeting Carrie. Uh, we're, I'm meeting her on Zoom. We're doing a Zoom call. I'm really excited to see what she's been up to. My name is Carrie, and I design and test theme park rides. Yeah, I do not sit on roller coasters all day, <laughs> like frowning, taking notes. <laughs> when I'm in the office, I usually write manuals for things like how to replace components. And when I'm on site, I'm doing testing with like water dummies and accelerometers. So I, so I told Carrie, grab your camera and just kind of vlog inside the hotel room. And then she sent me all these clips. So it's now sunset in Doha. That building you can see in the back is a soccer stadium. It's going to be used in the 2022 World Cup. Yeah, so when I landed in the airport, uh, they had me get a SIM card and download an app and register for their uh, tracking program. So what it is, is this uh, QR code and it's color coded. So right now mine's yellow, which means I'm in quarantine. They check that at the entrances to all the stores and uh, restaurants. So how long have you been in this room? So this is day six. I'm incredibly bored. I finished most of my book. So I think this is neat. The curtains are controlled by a button on the wall. 24 to 48 hours to get my results for the second test. At some point tomorrow, it'll go green and I can go outside again. That's one of the new subway stations. Uh, the traffic is pretty bad. Yeah, I can't get into any anything in the hotel. So they put me up in a five-star hotel and told me to order room service for a week. That's awesome. Kind of nice, yeah. But I would really like to go outside. Here, we can get a uh, Corona. It's about $17. I'm not eating that much because I don't really have anywhere to like expend my energy. I can only yeah. do like so many planks and push-ups. So what have awesome. you been doing in the room? Like, is it like a routine that you have daily or? Um, sort of, I've been trying to get into a routine. Not a lot of things to do. I brought a book and I have Netflix. Bidet, toilet. And of course, the toilet phone. Have you used that phone beside the toilet? I have used it, brushing my teeth or something, and I got a call from reception. I wasn't on the toilet, but I have used that phone. Yeah. <laughs> the thing that's the craziest is the alcohol prices. Like if you go to a hotel bar, you have to show them your passport. I guess in the Qatar passports, they show your religion. Back to your question about um, walking around as like a female in the Middle East. Yeah. So I feel like I get more stares from like the construction workers. But oh, not, like when you know, you're at work. Like, like why, why are you here kind of way. Well, you're just breaking down those walls. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much for joining. No problem. I enjoyed this a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Sharif. It's a crazy time. And as you guys keep your vlog eye for life, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We are so close to a thousand subs. We're almost there.